Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I tr Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. Be hiding. Quarantine district. All citizens must report unexplained lights, odd sounds, and signs of conflict originating from evacuated buildings. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally? I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. I regret my connections haven't been more used to you. When this business is over, though, then you'll see what I'm worth. Havelock is attempting to have as many of the Lord Regent's guards reassigned as possible, but he may not succeed. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached unreasonable levels. I miss Morgan a little. Custis? Maybe not so much. Parliament's been paralyzed for weeks just the way we need. Lady Boyle's party was nothing compared to what I have planned at Pendleton Manor. Ah, Waverly. She's a sad story. I never liked the Boyles, but their taste is exquisite. No one ever thinks about how much work those parties are. What did you think of the drapery over there? Wouldn't work at the Pendletons, I don't think. Too... Tivian. Hello to you, Corvo. I imagine you made that masquerade a lively event. I doubt there will be another high society party that will live up to it. Copper wiring is making all the difference, increasing the output by almost 50% yet. The whale oil still has too many impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself with that idiot. Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. Things are moving pretty fast now, eh? All that with Lady Boyle just now will probably put the Lord Regent into a state. I'll be ready in case you need to leave in a hurry. I'm tired, but as long as you're up and about, I'm gonna stand at the ready, Corvo. You go update the others, sir, and I'll watch the water. Like as not, they'll come from the river if they come. I like it out here by the water's edge. The sound of the river is relaxing. A pity about the smell. I never did sleep right on land. The sea's in my blood. Corvo. Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Attention Dunwall citizens, the streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off-limits pending an ongoing investigation. Shh! Don't make any sound! I'm hiding from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide-and-seek with you, too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. 
I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it, as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while, anyway. Calista talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. Attention, you are required to cooperate with overseers as you would members of the City Watch and Elite Guard. They speak with the Lord Regent's authority. What are the principal islands in the Empire? Uh, Circanos, Gristal, Tivia, and Morley. And which one is the biggest? Gristal. And it's the best one, too. And how does whale oil work? That one's a trick. No one knows. Not even Piero. Excuse us, Corvo. I'm afraid you're a little distracting for the girl. When I'm Empress, I'll never have to live in a place like this again. I dreamed the river got higher and higher, and we all climbed up to the top floor of the house into your room, but then the water turned into rats. I never have good dreams here. Do you think there's any treasure buried under here? I dug a hole once, but all I found was old bones. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses, but Calista made me throw it away. Calista talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. I need to start Emily on her sums. Perhaps she can inventory our whiskey supplies. Just think. Our future Empress has a bar for a schoolhouse. As you can see, Lady Emily has quite an imagination. Any child would grow a little odd in a place like this. Samuel, Samuel Beechworth, Beechworth went, went to sea to, to forget, forget a hopeless love. love. He, he succeeded. The, the sober speaking in whispers. whispers. The, the drunk bellow. The, the boatman has a good heart and respects you. Samuel, Samuel is a simple, simple man, but he knows the river Redhaven and all its tributaries. Down, down to, to the, the smallest inlet. I asked for you, half with ox? No matter, just set it down. Leave both bottles and get out. I'm trying to write my memoirs. I once snuck into a party at the Brimsleys. Very strange it was, too. Had a fun night out, did you? I bet you enjoyed yourself over there. I do like a masked ball. So mysterious. No one likes a party better than I do. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. You've come very far, Corvo. We are almost there.
We are moving closer and closer to an empire free of the corrupt and depraved. Not much further now, Corvo. Only a matter of time before this is all over. If it goes our way, it'll be glorious. There was rioting in the Taylor's district last night. The people demanding food, elixir against the plague and better treatment. Stiltwalker guard set some of them on fire. Hmm. I wonder if Lydia has put on tea yet. The Admiral has been telling me about sea life. It sounds like a fine way to live. Then again, I'm sure he'd enjoy the opulence of Dunwall Tower. I wish I had a fraction of your skills. I did, years gone by. Attention. You are required to cooperate with overseers as you would members of the City Watch and Elite Guard. They speak with the Lord Regent's authority. Advisors. So many advisors your head will spin. She wants a cake maker. Well, I tell her you'll have a whole kitchen staff with an army of chefs. And of course she asks if she can have cake every, every day. And I say if that is your wish, my young empress, which always makes her giggle. Sometimes she gets so sad remembering these things. They remind her of a poor mother. It's been six months, and Emily is resilient, but sometimes I can hear her crying when she thinks I'm asleep. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered, as the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And one feisty little girl, who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday, someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. Hello, sir. I just don't like the way they look at me. I'm not a fool. I know I'd be the first to go if they got rid of people. My old mother used to work at the boils. The stories she'd tell. I don't think that the boils are at all good looking. What I wouldn't give to go to one of those parties. Must seem a little drab coming back here.
ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. <laughs> 